If you're getting an unexpected error while using WhatsApp on your PC, uh, chances are the issue can be something as simple as an incorrect login or a non-functioning internet connection. If you're using WhatsApp on the web, meaning by your web browser and you can uh, get to this screen that you see, simply head over to settings and then make sure uh, you click the log out button and this will log you out from whatsapp from this point onwards you can rescan this qr code that appears here and log into whatsapp again uh, we recommend using the whatsapp desktop client because this is more stable and provides better options if experiencing the issue on the desktop client as well you can simply tap on the settings icon right here head over to account and uh, make sure that everything is in order here. If not, simply head over to profile and then click the log out button to log out of this client and then log back in again. If this doesn't work, uh, your next option is to check and make sure that WhatsApp servers are live and that your own internet connection is working. To do this, uh, I'll simply open up a new tab and search for WhatsApp server status press enter and uh, you will come across multiple websites like uh, down detector and site 24 7 that give you whatsapp statuses and as you can see since i can access these web pages my internet connection is also working fine to be clear you don't need the fastest internet connection in the world to be able to run whatsapp properly but you do need a stable connection and as you can see there are no current problems in whatsapp so sending a message or a server connection should be fine which means that the problem most likely lies onto your internet connection if your internet connection is fine and you've uh, tried to log into whatsapp again chances are uh, you need to update your whatsapp desktop line now to do this, if you're on Windows, simply head over to the Microsoft Store, search for WhatsApp and you will come across the WhatsApp app page. As you can see, this button right now reads open, which means uh, the WhatsApp installed on my system is up to date. But in case it isn't, you will see an update option here. If that doesn't work, you can simply head over to the downloads section and this will show you all of your recent pending updates. So you can just go ahead and click this uh, check for updates button to check to see if there are any updates available as you can see whatsapp has just been updated today if none of these things work you can also try simply closing every instance of whatsapp and then restarting it now to do this you're going to have to open up the task manager by right clicking on your windows start icon clicking on task manager and then once you're here, you're going to have to find uh, instances of WhatsApp running on your system. As you can see, I have this one instance running with the runtime broker and WhatsApp. So I'm going to select it, click on end task, which will close WhatsApp on my system. And now all I have to do is uh, simply restart my PC. So I open up the start menu, head over to the power icon, and then click on restart. Once your PC has restarted, you can then try logging back into WhatsApp again, and these things should fix your problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon, and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and if we cannot help you as much as we want through these videos, do consider buying a membership. And I'll see you in the next video.